progress circle chart in Excel with a minimalist infographic design, created using the principle of a speedometer chart. We will start by creating a table with the initial data and formulas for the progress chart. Cell A2 will be used for input data and will be highlighted with a light blue fill. Cell B2 will contain a constant value of 0.5%, which is the cursor size. Add a comment to this cell indicating it contains the cursor data. Cell E4 will hold the maximum value of the norm. For example, if we are creating a speedometer-style progress chart, the maximum norm should be 150% instead of 100%. This is because the animation will use only two-thirds of the circle, with 100% for the animation and 50% for decoration. The norm is not a constant and can be changed. For instance, if the maximum progress value is 15%, the maximum norm should be 22.5%. Cell C2 will contain the formula to calculate the remainder after subtracting the input value from the maximum norm. The rows in the table are filled with a blank row between each entry. This trick is necessary for designing a three-band progress chart. The blank rows will also be used in the data series to create gaps between the bands. The first column duplicates the input value, while the second column contains formulas to calculate the remainder after subtracting the input value from the maximum norm. Add a couple of values for data labels on the progress scale with a minimalist design. There will only be two the minimum and maximum scale values. Select the range from cell A3 to C7 to create a template for the progress circle chart in Excel. Switch rows and columns immediately. Rotate the chart 240 degrees clockwise so the minimum value of zero starts from the southwest, as in speedometers. Add another data series to create the cursor the speedometer pointer. The data series is added to the chart using the Select Data tool, and in the arguments, reference the first row of the table where the cursor data is located. Change the chart type for the cursor data series from a donut chart to a pie chart. Select the cursor series, choose the chart type change tool, and configure the chart types in the combo menu. All series should be donut charts, except for the cursor series, which should be a pie chart. Note that the pie chart should be placed on additional axes, so check the secondary axis box for the cursor series. Now the cursor pie chart is in the foreground. Make it transparent by removing the fill and border lines from all sectors except the smallest one for the cursor. On a separate sheet, create a rounded rectangle. Set the dimensions and position it in the center of the sheet. Add a gradient fill for the background and border lines.
move the combined progress circle chart template to the new sheet and place it over the rectangle shape. Create a minimalist design for the chart. Turn off all unnecessary data and values on the chart. Note. The pie chart is in the foreground because it is placed on additional axes. To access the donut chart in the background with one click, disable the cursor data series. Alternatively, use the series selection menu in the format section. Use whichever method is more convenient for you. Now we can set transparent and semi-transparent fill colors for the sectors of the donut chart. Rotate it and adjust the inner ring diameter. Using the donut hole size parameter, we can adjust the thickness of the bands by changing the inner diameter of the chart. After making all adjustments, re-enable the cursor series and configure the appearance of the speedometer pointer sector. Add the minimum and maximum value labels to the speedometer scale. It is better to fill the labels with references to the corresponding cells in the original table. If you need to change the maximum norm values, it will be easier and more convenient to edit the progress chart template for any values. The same applies to the visualization block title and the current indicator label. This template has everything planned out. Now we make the progress speedometer interactive and test it in action. Create a table as a mini database of initial values from two columns day names of the week and percentage values increasing from 0% to 100%.
based on the mini database table. Create a pivot table. In the pivot table summary row, set the value type to average in the field parameters. Connect the pivot table to the original chart table. In the input cell for initial values highlighted in light blue, use the getPivotData function with a reference to the pivot table summary in the function arguments. Based on the pivot table, create a slicer to filter data, which will change the summary values and interact with the chart. Design the slicer buttons by duplicating and modifying the slicer templates. Move the slicer buttons to the infographic sheet. By manipulating the slicer buttons, we dynamically change the progress circle chart infographic. This way, you can create a beautiful minimalist design to present progress on a speedometer-style circle chart.